when we talk about you know increasing net profit we're talking about moving one two or three percent in your margin in your revenue in your you know decrease in your cost so What's the difference between margin and markup? Isn't that the same thing? That's actually a great question because it lets people pause and think about that, right? Um, they're similar, but they're not the same thing. And it's actually very dangerous. So a markup, the way I see it, it's almost a pricing strategy, right? You buy something for $100, you mark it up 20%, right? And you sell it for 120. Then a lot of people go, oh yeah, my markup is 20%, therefore my margin is 20%, but it's not. Because mathematically, that doesn't make sense. Because using that same example, um, $100 cost, I sell it for $120. That's 20% markup. But then if you do the math on it, $120 minus $100, that's $20. $20 of $120. Your margin is actually something like 17%. Okay? So your margin automatically is lower than your markup. And you might think, hey, no big deal, 3%, right? It's actually a big deal. Because if you think about it, even when we talk about you know, increasing net profit, we're talking about moving one, two, or 3% in your margin, in your revenue, in your you know, decrease in your cost. So those percentage, when they translate all the way down to your net profit, makes a huge difference. If you think nobody makes that mistake, you could be wrong. I actually have one client. He's been in business for eight years, all right, before he came to me. And the first day that we discovered, it was that. For the longest time, they were making less margin than they thought because every time they mark something up, that's how they priced everything. They're thinking, oh yeah, mark up 50%, mark up 80%, therefore we're making 50%, 80% margin. And they were always consistently off. It was always consistently lower. And they did that for eight years before they discovered it. Wow.